Hey, welcome back. I can try to talk about Lost a little bit if this boss isn't too distracting, which I think it will be. You have to shoot his eyeball hands, I guess. Then shoot the other one? Or, ah! I don't know. Maybe I should have just looked it up. Then, whoops, <laughs> he tried to scoop me. <laughs> okay, then the face does something. You have to shoot his eyes too? That's weird. Oh, no, 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 what's happening? What's happening? Oh. I'm shooting a lot of arrows. I, I've only watched a Maybe, okay, bomb in his mouth, maybe? It's a spicy meatball. <laughs> when am I gonna get arrows? I'm shooting a ton of arrows. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me. I've only watched maybe six episodes of Lost. Uh, there was, I started rewatching it because there was like a post on Reddit and it was like, this is, okay, I have to pay attention. I don't want to miss the bomb thing. It's a dumb thing they always post on Reddit. It's like, ooh, if you like Lost, then this was the reason. But I mean, they're right, because <laughs> that it was the scene with uh, Locke. If you haven't watched Lost, you should watch. I think it's the th third episode. The character named Lo Locke, and he. I don't want to spoil it. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty great. I'll spoil it, but I'll put the disclaimer that you should go watch it. It's called Walkabout. Um, and okay, so now I'm out of arrows. One of the characters lock the whole episode. You don't you don't really know that he's paralyzed, like. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he, um, just from the waist down, he's paralyzed. They don't really say that. He's gonna step on. Um, but I think it's probably obviously. I, I guess I was young and I was just kind of stupid. I couldn't tell. But there's a lot of hints that, like, okay, he's paralyzed. Then they show that through flashbacks. When he's off the island, he's paralyzed and he's ha he has a hard life and his boss is dumb and... Um, ow. Everybody kind of mistreats him. So he wants to go on this walkabout in Australia. To kind of like prove that he's still... Um, capable of doing what he used to do, I guess. Oh, that's good. He's dead already. And then... It sounds dumb when you explain it, but... In the end, the plane crashes on the island. And he wakes up and he can walk. He's, and he's got this like great look on his face like when he looks at his feet and he wiggles his toes and he's like what this this is crazy <laughs> and I guess it's kind of it's a good that's good because they they flash back between when he's he's yelling at the um, he, he wants to go on the walkabout but the Australian guy's like you neglected to tell us that you're paralyzed we can't take you on the walkabout our insurance won't allow it He's like, don't tell me what I can't do. <laughs> I can do this. So. <clears throat> I 
I think I would say that Lost was my favorite show if I had to pick one. It's not perfect. And they worked just kind of making it up as they went, but it's not their fault. It's just the nature of network TV. It's like they never knew if they were going to be canceled or what. So they just had to keep, like, they couldn't really... And they had to make an episode every week, so they didn't have time to plan out further than a couple weeks. And they did such a great job with those, like, harsh parameters on what they were doing. But there are probably better shows. I mean, I think Game of Thrones' is the first six seasons are better than Lost, but... I don't know. What am I doing? Don't tell me what I can't do. Okay, that wasn't even my note. I had another note about Lost. Lost is, I like it, even though it's an ensemble. I don't really like ensemble shows because, thanks Boat, everybody's been nice to me. I need that, man. I have done okay, right? I'm doing okay. Now we get to meet uh, the king or whatever. This is a long dungeon. I don't know if I'm even going to finish it. The true trial? That wasn't even the true trial. <laughs> I guess I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready, Kyle? <laughs> and it just transports you into a hell dimension. <laughs> it's like, you said you were ready. You didn't tell me about this. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I don't remember exactly what's going on, but I remember it's cool. <laughs> you go to the Temple of Time, I think. Something... I'm in such a, like, avoid spoilers mode because of Last of Us 2, but I can't, I mean, you can't spoil this game, it's been out for 20 years. You can't even really spoil it. <laughs> this is supposed to be the Temple of Time, or not the Temple of Time, but just Hyrule Castle. I think. And it's like, underwater? Because I think like probably just like to hide it from Ganon or something. Oh, I don't even have the master sword yet. So this is Hyrule Castle, it must be. But it's like stuck in time or something. I don't remember. They use magic to freeze it so that Ganon couldn't get here or something. It's pretty cool. I don't know. So it's like frozen in time. Who's that? That's me. My brother texted me a little while ago. It was probably like last October. Um, my nephew, they dressed him up as Link. For Halloween, probably. Um, and they sent me the picture. And I texted back the hero of nap time. Because... And that was, that was a title that I, I liked. I used it for Link's Awakening. Hey. The item you seek is in somewhere in the castle. Find it, you must find the entrance. But that entrance is in my way. My is Okay. Do you know where to search? You will find a clue in the shape. I think you're supposed to do a Triforce thing here. 
yeah. Um, that was one of the episode titles I thought of for Link's Awakening because it's like you're asleep and it was like hero of nap time. That's funny, but it's nice that I was able to use it on my brother <laughs> and be like, oh, he's gonna think I'm smart because I thought just thought of that, but I didn't. Beep, 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 beep. I need to finish my lost note. I don't usually like ensembles because I like character stuff, but I like I like spending time with one character and learning a lot about them instead of these ensemble shows where you're just jumping around. You don't have time to learn about people. That's why it's kind of like why I didn't like Star Wars because it's like there's 50 characters and you don't have enough time to, to learn about or for a character to, to evolve in an like, organic way. I couldn't move that. That's pretty cool. But Lost gets around that by doing these flashbacks. And every episode is dedicated to a character. So, like, the walkabout episode is dedicated to this Locke character. And you learn a lot about his character through these flashbacks. And then they flash onto the island, and it's kind of... It's really kind of genius. I can't push it. Oh. Because you think, well, if you spend a whole episode with a character, then how are you going to push the story forward, like, on the island? It's just going to be... You're going to be spending so much time doing nothing. And I guess that's kind of true. Like, they introduce this um, hatch in, like, halfway through season one, and you don't learn what it is until, like, the middle of season two. <laughs> so it is a little bit slow in that sense, but I guess I didn't mind because it was, like, about character stuff. How do I what, push this stupid thing? I like to imagine Ganon getting to this temple and being like, oh, I can't figure out what to do. <laughs> I have the Triforce of Power, not the Triforce of Triangle Puzzles. I can't figure it out. And then he just gives up. <laughs> Is that is that what the point of this is? Is like, well, Ganon could never figure this out. Uh, I can't even figure it out. Just stop crawling and hold, grab the thing. Grab it. I'm getting closer. There we go. Um, that's why I, I, I kind of stopped liking The Walking Dead. Because the beginning of the story, I liked it a lot. It was about Rick and Shane and Rick's wife and his son, pretty much. And so you just got really deep into those characters. But then they started adding new people and then every episode is like just a bunch of random crap happening and you don't learn anything about the characters. It's like, well, we got this Negan guy and we gotta learn about him. So what they would do sometimes is spend, they would dedicate an entire episode to like Negan. And I would like those, but people didn't like those because they, like, they would say like, oh, nothing happened in this episode. What are you talking about? That's what we're here for. We're here for the characters and the interesting characters, right? I don't know. Reddit people. They don't know what they want. <laughs> yeah, it was a really tough puzzle. My perception. Jesus, this guy. Kyle is a genius. He solved the triangle puzzle.
I guess this episode will go a little bit longer because there's some cutscenes coming up and yeah. I think. Oh, so you take the sword out and it un and then it undoes the magic, right? I guess that was my note. You can do too much character stuff so that the story feels stuck or slow, but Lost always moved the story forward on the island and gave character stuff in flashbacks. That's what I thought they did well. Um, there's a lot of interesting character stuff, and then there's also some cool mythology stuff on the island. That's why I liked it. It's like the best of both. But I got damage it. I was thinking about, I guess I'll do this tomorrow. Look at that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I was a kid in high school, I started watching Lost. And I remember this kid from my Spanish class was watching it too. Somehow he found out that like I watched it and we would try to talk about it between classes and he would I don't know the whole thing about that show was like oh everybody's talking about like oh what's gonna happen and but I was never that kind of a person obviously I never talked but I was like well what am I supposed to talk about we both saw the episode right am I supposed to try to predict what's gonna happen how am I supposed to do that it's a tv show they're writing it it's not like a thing that's like <laughs> That was the thing. It's like, oh, everybody's talking about it at school and work. And like, oh, remember when this thing happened? Like, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I don't know. I was never good at that, that kind of stuff. Who's your favorite character, though? I don't know. Did you like when this character kissed this character? Or did you not like it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Because that's what I talk about here. I mean, I, I like talking about... I was talking about... Um, I don't know. What was the last TV show I was talking about? I remember talking about Game of Thrones a little bit. I don't know. I'm a bad person. Everybody else is good. See you tomorrow. We'll, we'll meet the king or whatever. Bye.